This episode brought to you by ExpressVPN, the best VPN there is. Take back your online privacy today. You know, I'm really gonna miss this place. So many pleasant memories. Really? Well, when he didn't cover us in blood. That one time. Now, I know this is an adjustment, but at the same time, we've grown too big for this place, and air spot's a lot bigger. We're gonna start off the new year with brand new ways of torturing you. Yay! Yay. Oh, by the way, do you think we'll have time to watch that Christmas special tonight? Or at the very least, that one scene? Oh, of course, we wouldn't miss that. We're just gonna watch it at the new location. back to Chicago. Well, I've learned so much in California about movies, storytelling, restraining orders, and I wanted to come back here and see if you guys wanted to help me shoot my special project. Yeah, what's that? I wanted to do my interpretation of a Christmas classic, Home Alone. Really? I feel like there are so many new directions you can take a story like that, but Hollywood doesn't understand my vision. <sighs> That's so like them. Everything has to be the same. So I wanted to see if you guys wanted to help me make it. Sure, we don't have to be out here till the end of December. That gives us plenty of time to shoot. Oh, wonderful! Now, I have to warn you, my ideas can be a little unconventional. We welcome unconventional around here. Whatever you have in mind, we are totally with you. And action! Oh no! My name is Kevin McAllister, and my house is being robbed by a Satanist and a skinhead. What did California do to her? Christmas, little fella. We know that you're in there. And that you're all alone. And you haven't accepted Satan as your Lord and Savior. Can we cut? Ugh, cut. What is it, darling? I'm sorry, I, I know we're supposed to be evil, but are we really supposed to be this evil? It's to go that extra step to make you even more evil. But I feel like the criminals in the original were evil enough. This just seems like overkill. No, no, the shootout at the end is overkill. This is just breaking and entering. But don't you feel dirty filming this? I'll tell you what, Critic. I'll have you watch the movie that inspired me for all of this. Nutcracker in 3D. <laughs> what, does it have Nazis in it? Yes! Directed by world-renowned Andrei Konchalovsky, creator of critically acclaimed art house films like The Runaway Train, The Steamroller and the Violin, and Tango and Cash. I don't think that was an art house film. No talking. Okay. He spent years trying to get this dream project off the ground. He wrote it, directed it, and managed to get $90 million to bring it to the big screen. How much did it make? That's not important. What's important is this artist got his vision on the screen. Artists are constantly misunderstood when they use anything shocking, but it helps disrupt the system and fight social norms. Oh, I'm sorry, weird. From the other side of this door, it sounded like you said Nazis in the Nutcracker? We'll let the critic go watch the film so he can figure out what I'm going for while I film another scene with you two. Oh, what about the Christmas special? We'll still watch it tonight. Just do whatever she says. Come on, we're gonna go do the Black Mass where you're both drenched in blood. <sighs> we were just talking about this. Oh, good! Well, let's see what kind of dental work the Mouth of Madness has. This is Nutcracker in 3D. 
Don't worry, start out on a confusing note, it's advertised everywhere as Nutcracker in 3D. But in the intro, it's called Nutcracker the Untold Story. Yeah, it's untold for the same reason Grandpa's story about shedding a leprechaun is untold. It's insane and scares everyone. So in 1920s Vienna, that curious time when orchestras took the trolley to work, a young girl named Mary, played by Ella Fanning, is annoyed when her younger brother Max burns one of the ornaments. You've burned the whole dress! And now you've made me lose my pin! Father, look at my fairy's new gown! Just to check, we're going with that take? We're going with that take? Alright, yes dear! Now we can't wait any longer. So their British father is going out with their American mother while they wait for their German uncle, Albert Einstein, in Vienna. He's played by Nathan Lane. Such a beautiful city, don't you see? I have the strangest feelings that we are being followed. Mr. Lane under the impression that this is a documentary. We are not being followed. Now I'm a little disappointed. If you think he's like the all-knowing narrator who constantly breaks the fourth wall, he only briefly addresses the audience two other times in the middle of the movie. And it always comes out of nowhere. It's so brief and lacking consistency, it's kind of amazing. It's like starting off how the Grinch stole Christmas with... Every who down in Whoville loved Christmas a lot. Bye. Merry Christmas! Are you leaving already? I asked you to be here at five. I thought it was Halloween! I came dressed as Don King! What do you want, boss? I said three! It looks like Uncle Albert has a gift for the kids. Ooh, a hereditary dollhouse! Who's the fat guy? Oh, shh! You'll hurt his feelings. That stinker is very sensitive about his fate. He kills anyone who brings it up. You're actually kid number five to own him. Speaking of deathly horrors... The Nutcracker. I call him NC for short. <coughs> what dumb initials. They say he is the most vaunted doll in town. Don't look at him too long. He eats hearts like cream corn. It's just a stupid toy. What is just a toy for you may be a real friend for someone else. My wife has a toy that she calls the greatest friend in the world, and I hate it. And no joke, he puts lyrics to the Nutcracker music to instruct them about the theory of relativity. Because I'm sure that was Tchaikovsky's idea when he wrote it. Every point of view is yeah. simply up to you is yeah. how your dreams come true is yeah. as real as yeah. by you. Originally, I thought operas and bagels were the worst things to have Einstein's name on it. Thank you for proving me wrong. This is that. These are those. What's a scream? What's ideal? What adorable spasms they're having. I'm sure that's protocol for hearing this song. Why don't you come live with us? I'm always with you, dear. Can you tell us the Nutcracker story? He does that. Hey, if I was him, I'd flee before having to watch what's up next. I can't believe it. You did it. What do you mean? I mean, I've been waiting for someone who believed like you. You're really special. I'm noticing there's no enchanting music when this horrifying thing comes to life, but maybe that's because the composer wrote something like this. Please don't call me Nutcracker. I hate that name as well. Call me NC. Or Soul Stabber, destroyer of good dreams. The maid hears them and comes up to see what's happening. I was fast asleep, dreaming, and my pillows, well, just, they exploded. God, I didn't think you could make Padme's acting look like Judy Dench, but the evidence stands before you. Ew. She would have dropped dead if she saw me. Anybody would. You're like Terrence and Philip if they were Satan's dildos. I have to speak to my friends in the doll's house. Wait, I have to get dressed first. I don't have time. How ungrateful men can be. Really? No take two on that? Uh, okay, okay. You might find it a little changed. Are you ready? I'm not ready for anything with your creepy face staring at me. I ate your hamster when you weren't looking. He tasted like love. So they find the house has changed and everything has become a lot bigger. And even the toys seem to have come to life. This house hasn't been refurbished for 30 years. Gilgood! Your Highness, I was getting one of my migraines at the time, and I was reduced to this. You know, I can't believe I'm saying this for the second time in the 11 years I've done this show. Care Bears was more faithful than this! Why do they call you Your Highness? Oh, uh, no, no real reason. Just something they do. Because I'm the king of pissed pants! When I'm on screen, you should see the movie theater floors! Mary, you're very pretty. <laughs> I thank you. 
I thought about wearing your face as a hat. Is that too forward? They go up the tree to see the snow fairy, played by the same woman who played the mother. I want to thank your friend Mary here for my wonderful new gown. It burned quite conveniently, though singed some delicate parts. She sees the dance of the dandruff, and the fairy says that she can join them. But I can't fly. How do you know if you've never tried? Get on with it. Go on. You know, so this is what the woman from the omen saw before she jumped. Get on with it. Go on. It's all for you. Oh, I can fly. I can fly. And once again, they try putting lyrics to the ballet music, and it flows about as well as you'd expect. Cucumber cool or more frantic? Is each day a new beginning? Have you got a fight worth winning? You can guess yes and yes for your special and unique. Critic, I need to borrow you for our musical number. One second. We will get you, Kevin. We will send you to heaven. I I'm sorry, was this really written to have lyrics? <gasps> What does it matter? I, I feel like the composer might have constructed it to match a little bit better. Oh, it's fine. For the opening music credits, I just put in the lyrics from the first song in Nightmare Before Christmas. This is Halloween, this is Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Hey, that does match. So you agree, it's a good idea. Well, I did say that. Wonderful. I think I got what I need from you here. Continue watching that brilliant version of Nutcracker. Take it with you. Take us with you. You don't want this. No, you don't want this. Take us with you. No, 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 all right, who's ready for the cannibal scene? Do we actually bite our fingers in this? Well, not fingers. Somehow, through love or some shit, the Nutcracker turns into Timmy from Jurassic Park. I'm going straight back to my kingdom. The least you could do is ask her for a dance. We just started Dollar Store Epcot on Ice. No! Our goal is to be as forgettable as Nutcracker and the Four Realms. Admit it, you forgot that was even a thing. They dance and they go further up the tree to explain how the Rat King took over his kingdom. He released his army into the city center. The Nutcracker, everybody! Giant metal schlongs that hold rat people that are somehow still less scary than the Who's. <laughs> These flowers will stop them! Uh, please notice my flower attack! Don't cut away from me, I had more! The Rat King is frightened of the sun. Well, I guess these are the Nazis everyone talks about in this film. And I'll tell you, they got Art Spiegelman's work completely backwards. It's the cats who are supposed to be the Nazis, not the mice. God, that was the most serious Tom and Jerry comic I ever read. The Rat King is played by John Totoro, portraying a Hitler-type Andy Warhol. Oh, you mean similar to... There is absolutely nothing similar to this as his soldiers discover saboteurs trying to blow up his base. You'll never be more than a mangy, dirty rat. It's all so unnecessary. How about a magic trick? Ta -da! It's gone. <laughs> oh, wasn't that magical? Welcome to a Stygian era. God, this is so Tchaikovsky. You know, it's good that kids can watch this and think Nazis aren't all that bad. I do hope this has a tie-in with Nick Jr.'s upcoming show, Nutsy Nazis. I hear they're doing a crossover with Peppa Pig. See if you get this. He has a giant shark in a tank just so he can kill it. He is a masterpiece. I'm not a villainous mastermind, but I feel there's more possibilities with a Hitler anti Warhol rat and a shark in a tank. Like, something more has to come out of that equation. Hey, look, it's pictures of the audience. <laughs> he just rubbed a kid's nipple. Nutcracker! Mother! Oh, it's only you. For pretty much no reason at all, there's also a rat queen played by Francis de la Tour. Though, I don't know, I still think that's Tanya Harding's mother. Spell on the prince is broken. He's alive. Alive! I can't imagine test audiences actively writing down more Rat Queen legs open, please! Lunch not entirely gone yet! Oh, this is good. 
It's funny, so many horror films try to scare people and don't succeed, but really, all we needed was Andrei Konchalovsky to entertain your kids. That somehow gets the most terrifying imagery one could come up with. His take on Cartoon Network would be the most terrifying thing imaginable next to Cartoon Network. The Rat Queen recasts her spell to transform the Nutcracker back to the way he was. This somehow wakes Mary up, showing this was all a dream? Question mark? What is it? Why aren't you in bed? I have to save him! So, only about halfway through we suddenly get what's usually reserved for the third act of Mary being told her stories aren't true and nobody believing her. Where are you going? I don't want you to see me cry. Nobody's listening. Not even trying. Something your acting coach said a lot? They simply say, come what may, I'm lying. You're singing coach too? To her credit, I wouldn't sing well if I had to stare at that Pac-Man voodoo doll either. And I feel I'm wanted. Oh, where's Maya Rudolph when you need her? Okay, I can't go that far. Hey look, the second time Einstein talks to the camera. I have the strangest feeling that something is wrong at Mary's house. You look like that troll doll nobody played with at the bottom of the toy chest. This film would have bombed if they all looked like you! Is everything alright? Uncle, a quiet word in my study. Albert comes to the house and finds everything is in disarray. When you leave, please will you take the doll's hearse away with you. Tell me one thing before I go, Joseph. Were you blackmailed to be in this movie too? Has it really been so long since you've been a child? How? He cried, his dreams had died, the young forget, and all too soon his life was overtaken. Yeah, let's just call this song what it is. You're at the age of not even trying, then or the make believe, will bomb. Who's gonna bomb? Left alone. Abandoned on. It's one of those magical songs where everyone remains perfectly still, the camera doesn't move, and we're not even focusing on the person singing. It's like step in time if it was sit in silence. Yeah, I saved it for you. The father agrees to let Mary keep the nutcracker when Albert shows he still has the pebble he played with when he was a kid. Not realizing it was just one of the many lucky pebbles Albert carries along. I'm so glad I didn't leave the house without my lucky pebbles. Bonnie, my pebbles! Meanwhile, some rats sneak into the house. God, you gotta love those effects! Looks like Emo Phillips if he was a secret of Nim Happy Meal toy. As we cut to- ah! He has spies everywhere! You know Pumpkinhead would be a much scarier movie if he looked like that? Max wakes up and realizes why he had trouble sleeping that night and every following night in the future. Do you want to join the fight against the Rat Kingdom? Yes! On one condition, that you promise not to break any more toys. Why, just looking at you is breaking us. They head downstairs and find that the Rat King has kidnapped everybody and asks Mary and Max to join him. Play something for the kiddies, drummer boy. Something snappy. Now... Let's say you're unfortunate enough to watch this as a child. You don't know what Nazis are, or World War II, or anything like that. You'd probably be getting through this movie okay, only bothered by the demon eyes of Pinocchio Captain Cruncher. But imagine you're a kid halfway through, and you see this. And you've reached the Like I just did. What's that smell? Again! That's the second time someone's done this in this production! As you hear all the time, it's very easy to steal someone's online information. I should know, I stole my own identity last week. Anyway, you can be really protected, though, with ExpressVPN. Protecting your online information now is more important than ever. And without a VPN, your internet browsing data can be tracked by your ISP, cellular provider, ad companies, and of course, hackers. But when you use a VPN, your public IP address is masked. 
so even the websites you visit won't be able to identify you. You can feel safe knowing not only that VPNs encrypt your internet data, but that ExpressVPN has the fastest speeds. They have server locations in over 94 countries, giving you plenty of options to choose from, 24-7 customer support whenever you need it, and apps for every device, Windows, iOS, Android, Mac, Linux, router, and more. I use it on my phone here. You connect with just one click. It's internet without restrictions. There's no activity or connection logs. Your data is your business. Having the best-in-class encryption, 256-bit AES, and being the market-leading VPN, ExpressVPN is rated the number one VPN service by TechRadar. And the best part is it's only $7 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. I want my information protected, and I'm sure you do too. And this is the best one to do it with. Take back your internet privacy today and see how you can get three months free by clicking on the link in the description box, expressvpn.com slash nostalgiacritic. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash nostalgiacritic. For three months free with a one-year package. Take back your privacy today. Visit expressvpn.com slash nostalgiacritic to learn more. Protect yourself from those who wish to do you harm, even if it's yourself. This was a very abstract ad. So the Rat King takes Mary's friends away and she tries to, um, tell on them? I'll call my father! Father? You can't even convince the man we're real. We're like man bear pig. Wait, is he real now? I keep losing track of what I'm supposed to think. We have another special rat bite for you to ride. A rat bite? I'll be right back, Mary. I've been easily seduced by fascism. Tell me, do you also have Turkish delight? <laughs> so Mary tries to figure out what to do by talking to the monkey, who, for some reason, they just left behind. How do you do that? Remember what your Uncle Albert used to say? When in doubt, blow it up. That which seems beyond our reach may, in fact, be close at hand. No, I'm pretty sure it was one in doubt, blow it up. They travel through the mirror to the Nutcracker City, and I have to say, this plan of the ape spin-off is much stranger than I thought it would be. The sun is blocked out by smoke from burning toys. You do know the rats burn toys. Wait, like inanimate toys or living toys like the ones we've been seeing? All dolls are alive. Okay, I guess that's supposed to mean they're all alive. You're not. You ever wonder what happens to a doll's soul when it burns? You're seriously not. Oh yeah, you thought this was just gonna be simple bad guy Nazi imagery like in Indiana Jones or old Looney Tunes cartoons? But no, people being rounded up, children crying, and the sky filled with smoke from factories burning piles of what they just made clear are living individuals. All of this is actually happening. So this is our manifesto. But it's cool because an incredibly silly song is sung over it. That should lighten up the constant reminder of one of the darkest times in our world's history. Right. Oh, holy. Mooning Lisa. Ah! Yes. You know, it's funny that Nathan Lane is in this because this whole entire movie is like the show the producers were trying to put on to get it so jaw-droppingly awful that it would bomb the first night! I never talk about bad taste. Fantastico! Fantastico! Come on, let's get out of here before they kill us. I'm sorry, but this is disgusting. This is legitimately disgusting. It makes me sick to my stomach, and the idea that other artists would be inspired by this, like other people would want to replicate it, it's just, I, I, I'm sorry, I gotta talk to Rachel for a second. I'm sorry, I'll be right back. All right, Kevin. You outwitted my friends, Jeffrey Dahmer and John Wayne Gacy. <clears throat> Pilgrim. But there's no way you can escape the biggest threat of them all, Charles Manson. 
Kevin. Oh my God. Come on out or we're gonna do terrible things to your Legos. Pilgrim. Oh my God, stop, stop! Oh, thank Christ. Oh jeez, what is it now, Critic? What do you mean, what is it now, Critic? You're serial killing Home Alone! It's not actually serial killing, it's just Legos. It's very clear what you're doing and nobody's gonna think about a little kid outwitting burglars, they're just gonna think about all the terrible things those killers did! Critic, I'm trying to take people into the darkest region so that the happy scenes seem happier. I am an artist, I must be allowed to... But it's coming across less like you want to make people feel good and more like you just want to stand out by using shock tactics. Oh, that's rich. Coming from the guy who gets people to watch him just by shouting the F word. Hey, I don't just shout! I don't just shout the F word. Talk about me being immature. Nobody would watch you if you didn't drop the F bomb all the time. You know what? You're insane. This project's insane. And I'm going to finish this Nutcracker to prove that it's insane too! Ugh, he just doesn't get it. It's always more important to be loud than to be right. You're on Twitter, aren't you? I'll show her! I'm more than just screaming the F word! Aren't I? So the others escape, but the Nutcracker is about to be burned. Again, not thinking of anything else at all. Uh, okay, get back on track. So they try to distract the guards while Mary saves him. I'm starting to wonder if Jerry Lewis just put on a fat suit and this was an expensive redux of the day the clown cried. I can see now why he never wanted it released. And see, we have to hurry. Mary rescues the Nutcracker. Wait, that can't be him. He's actually there. But the Rat Queen spell seems to have worked too well and he's just an inanimate toy. Please. Aw, oh, she just realized she can't get out of her contract. But the fairy comes and says only Mary has the power to bring him back. It has to be you. What do I have to do? I don't know. Bye. And see, I love you. The less than a day I've known you has taught me all about what love really is. It seems to work though, as he's turned back into a real boy. Your life. You did it. This inspires the workers to rebel, and the Rat King and Queen decide to flee. Wow, that didn't take much. Abandon the sinking ship. What? Abandon my kingdom over some spoiled brat. No, the fact that a casting director might actually see you in this is the reason to go. <laughs> a family? Oh, who are we kidding? A psycho picture. So now there's rocket-powered Nazi rats. How did no ballet ever work that in? And Mary is locked in the elevator to protect her. Doing a bang-up job, as you can see. I'm not afraid of you! Okay, I'm afraid of you now! Ah-ha! They kidnap her as they take her brother aboard a helicopter to fly away. <clears throat> Try now. You said you could fly this thing! I know I can. I just don't know how to take off. The essential fixing the helicopter scene. How did Tchaikovsky forget to write for that? As the dumber games are happening outside, the Rat King and Queen try to fly away, but the prince tries to stop them. Ah! 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 Robotnik's designs were surprisingly effective! Please don't do that. The copter crashes and the day seems to be saved. Oh, my bananas. Ah, ah, still thinking about what Nazis did, assholes. Look. We finally see our villains for what they really are. Rats. Does a twist technically count if there's no twist in it at all? They're even putting lyrics to this? These jokers would put lyrics to four minutes and 33 seconds if they had the chance. I'm sorry, Mary, but it's time for you to go home. But this is my home. No, this is only a dream, darling. You think any person would consciously come up with all this shit? Can I stay? I'm afraid not. Your parents will miss you terribly.
in that they're really terrible at missing you. She returns home where she had the most strangest dream, and you were awful in it, and you, and you, and you. I hope you don't mind, but I brought someone along. I would like you to meet my new neighbor, Nicholas Charles. They call me NC for short. He's really good at cracking nuts. That was a weird thing to say. Look what I have. My father's magic pebble. Again. Great read, kid. My father's magic pebble. Oh, I never liked pebbles. It reminds me of sand. It's so coarse, rough, and irritating, and it gets everywhere. You were made for me! I can tell by your rush of emotion. <laughs> so they end up skating, and I guess living happily ever after. It's not even really the grand a shot to end on. It's kind of dull. Good lord, I mean, I've heard about being tone deaf, but this is taste deaf! I can't believe how awful this was. It actually is hard to conceive how much stupidity and bad taste it has. It doesn't at all understand what the Nutcracker is about or even what Christmas is about. It 100% ignores all the important things they stand for, like peace and spreading joy and forgiveness and... Excuse me, I gotta talk to Rachel. Well, Kevin, I'm just glad after everything you've been through, we can come together as one happy family. With your brother, Ted Bundy, your sister, Lizzie Borden, and me, the killer Charlize Theron played in Monster. Oh, yeah, come on, you guys. Oh. Cut. Ah, that was it, the final shot. Thank you guys so much for making my vision of Home Alone finally come true. <laughs> Well, thanks for putting us in it, whatever it was. <laughs> oh, hey, do you guys want to hang? I just have to edit this final scene, then it'll be uploaded. Oh, thanks, but we're actually going to go watch a Christmas special at the new studio, so... To yourself. Thank you again. <sighs> oh, critic. Sorry, I assumed you didn't want to be in the rest of the movie. No, no, I'm the one that's sorry. I mistook what you were making for who you really are, and I know that's not true. You're a good person and a good friend, and I'm sure you mean well by all of this. Well, thank you. That's really nice of you to say. With that said, I really don't know if it's a good idea to post this. I think people are going to misunderstand. Too late. It's already up. Already? Well, yeah, time moves faster on the internet. There's already a bunch of reviews for it. It's just, you're really talented, Rachel, and I feel like you can add a lot more substance than just shock value. Critic, we talked about this. Being shocking and defiant is at the center of what we do. I put psychotic killers in my kids' movies, and you say the F word while reviewing kids' movies. That's not the only reason people watch. They watch for a lot more than that. Oh yeah? Prove it. Go one year on the Nostalgia Critic without relying on the F word. All right, I will. Terrific. Fine. I already did. Huh? I just realized I already did. This whole year, I never said the F word at any of the new Nostalgia Critics, and people kept watching. Well, that's not true. There was that one time when... Well, what about that time... Well, what does that mean, then? It means shock is nothing without some form of intelligence behind it, and that's what draws everyone in. Well, I'm not trying to draw everyone in, just those gifted few who can see how unique I am. You know, in trying to be unique instead of yourself, you might be like everyone else trying to do the same. No, that's not right. All right. Well, we're going to be at the new location watching a Christmas special. You're welcome to join us if you want. Huh? Oh, yeah, I'll be there soon. Aha! Reviews! Let's take a look. I got a lot of problems with this serial killer version of Home Alone I just watched. I can't believe they did this to Home Alone. This is ridiculous. This movie was the equivalent of being kicked in the gooch. Like, not even with like a soft, rounded toe Nike. This was the equivalent of being kicked right in the twaint. I can't even. A week of explosive diarrhea would be more entertaining. This is the worst thing I've ever seen and I was in the room. Imagine building a Christmas tree out of a cactus that was stuffed with asbestos and hornets. I feel like I'm having a reverse Grinch heart moment here. This movie is so bad, it makes Rhapsody Street kids look like Toy Story. What the hell did I just see? I'm not really sure what I just watched right now, but I'm a little scared. I've seen some bad shit in my day. I've seen some bad movies, but this, this is sick. Not everything has to be dark. This isn't a DC movie. That was the worst. 
That was the opposite of good. Yeah, I'm alone with serial killers. It's, it's one of the worst things that I've ever seen in my life. This is just out there, man. This is, I've, I thought I've seen everything. And you can't scare John Wayne Gacy away. If you put sharp objects on the ground that he steps on, it's just gonna make him more mad. Not to mention you're remaking Home Alone and you don't have a cameo from Macaulay Culkin playing his character from The Good Son. That's just a missed opportunity. I thought the Nazis in Nutcracker 3D were bad, but this just takes the cake. If you write this to paper, aren't you committing a crime? I think you are. I think you actually should take this person and give them a longer sentence than any of the serial killers who star in this film. Mm. Hey Tamara, if you've never seen this movie, don't. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Uh, but I don't get it. With some people like Nutcracker 3D, didn't they? Oh. Okay, almost got it set up. It's okay, there's no rush. Hey, did I hear that right? You haven't said the F word in a year? Yeah, I guess I did. Are you gonna keep that up? Fuck no. <laughs> That's good to know I don't need to rely on it. All right, we're all set. All right, we ready to get this baby going? They hated it. No one liked my version of Home Alone. I, I just found out no one even liked that version of the Nutcracker. I'm a fraud. No! 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 little. Okay, yeah, 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 I mean, you can't deny it. I just wanted to dive into the dark moments so that the happy moments seemed all the more important. But you didn't understand the happy moments. You didn't even really understand the dark ones. Nutcracker in 3D is the same thing. Shock value is fine if the purpose outweighs the offense. It's supposed to provoke, giving way to a positive idea, or even make people feel better by laughing at how shocking it is. But it takes a lot of thought and a lot of skill to pull off correctly. When you focus too much on the negative without really exploring or understanding it, you get something that makes people not only feel dumber, but kind of dirty. The intent to bring something positive gets lost in the need to make yourself feel important. But honestly, the same can be said for being too positive, too. That can come across as mockingly condescending. Somewhere in between, there's a balance that's tricky to hold, but can still be accomplished. But how will I know what negative things and what positive things to focus on? I don't know, it's different for everyone. Yeah, people go through different experiences, so they're inspired by different things. And even those things change. People, ideas, even places. Just do your best and try to get inspired by those who understand it better than you. Speaking of which, you want to see what inspires us? Oh, no, no, I've already put you guys through enough already. Come on! Get over here! Come on! Yeah, yeah. We watch this every year on our own. This is the first year we're finally watching it all together. Speaking of which, who's down for just skipping the special and going to the best part? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. Nice. Let's do it. You got it, everybody. And Mom, there's a lot of people out there who don't associate Christmas with the best stuff. Maybe they're spending it alone, or maybe they associate it with a bad time. What can you say to people out there who are not having such a good Christmas? Uh, you know, this is the time of year to reach out to someone else who is lonely or is having a hard time and do something nice for them. Because when you do that, you will feel less lonely inside of yourself as well. It's a perfect time of year to do something for somebody else and think of others. That's really nice, Mom. Thanks so much. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Let's watch it again.
look what I have. My father's magic pebble. Hey, Doug Walker here doing the charity shout out and this week we are doing Oxfam America. Oxfam is a global organization working to end the injustice of poverty. They help people build better futures for themselves, hold the powerful accountable, and save lives in any disaster. Their mission is to take the root causes of poverty and create lasting solutions. Oxfam's approach is tackling the conditions that cause poverty in the first place. From the information they gather, they use it for A. Saving lives. Oxfam assists the poorest communities when disaster strikes. B. Programs to overcome poverty and injustice. They help people assert their rights so they can improve their lives. And C. Public education. As part of the efforts to overcome poverty, Oxfam works to change the way people think about poverty and its causes. If you look on their site and their YouTube channel, you can not only see all the creative ways and all the great people that help out, but you can see all the changes that are being made with these people who so much don't want to live in these conditions anymore. And you can play a huge part in that. This Christmas, give the gift of helping people be where they need to be. Click on the link and see how you can help the strong get even stronger.